John, I believe you're now taking refuge in a local restaurant. Just tell us uh, what you're seeing at the moment. Well, I, I came out of uh, Ealing Common uh, Station around about midnight and uh, I was working on the project and uh, I, there was a, a sports shop just next to the station which has been which, which attacked as I was there. So I crossed the street and took my camera out and was filming you just going inside, helping themselves. Um, I was behind some members of the public and uh, somebody saw me with a camera so they ran over and I, I put my camera away. Uh, I've walked away from that hotspot now. There's people still walking into the store helping themselves and uh, there was reports of petrol bombs about 10, 15 minutes ago and people walking by with petrol bombs. So I've taken refuge in a restaurant um, just down from there and the owners are outside with a, an array of weapons wanting to protect the place because we've been told that um, Ealing Broadway is now closed and that people are going to be heading down here quite soon is the latest reports. Um, John, just stay with us. I need to bring um, some news to you. It's just uh, a correction really on our part. We understand that it is the Sony distribution centre that is ablaze in uh, Waltham Point, not the uh, Sainsbury's chain that we initially thought. It's the Sony distribution centre in uh, Essex. Uh, some pictures I think we might be able to show you of that. That is a uh, very much... Uh, the focus of activity in terms of a large-scale blaze that has erupted in Essex there. We will um, go back to those pictures and get you some more information there. But, uh, John, thank you for staying with us. Um, just describe to us in terms of numbers, how many people do you think are still on the streets of Ealing where you are? Well, it is quite and down in this part of Ealing. There seems to be kind of groups of half a dozen uh, people walking by, uh, you know, every few minutes. Um, obviously, obviously, up to no good. And they seem to be just looking for trouble. And um, so uh, going back to the, the, the owners are outside the restaurant. And the, I think they do all they can to protect the place if they need to do. But I've seen cars go driving by with the windows smashed uh, and drivers looking, you know, quite fearful. And uh, there's, uh, like I said, just drips and drives people walking by every few minutes. And uh, but apparently we're waiting for a big crowd to come by quite soon. OK, John, uh, thank you very much for that update. Um, you're watching... BBC News. Stay with us. More coverage uh, coming up of the uh, disturbances taking place in London and parts of the UK. So we are going to stay with the situation that is unfolding in uh, London. Um and tonight to the south of London, this was Croydon, a furniture store in flames. And this was the view of one local eyewitness. They don't care. I've, 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 I've never seen such a disregard for human life. Nice little anarchists. I hope they have a nice little party. I hope they're rotten hell. Because the grief they have caused people, the fear they've put in people's hearts, decent people who have done nothing to anyone and the fear in them. This is an area which is miles from the shooting 